Okay, well what I've been doing here is that I've just been following up and down this river system and it's in overflow at the moment. There's a bit of a flood which is going on. And what I've been keeping my eyes out for, carp. Now carp are an introduced species of fish which have been brought into Australia and they've absolutely dominated all the river systems throughout Australia, all the way along the eastern coast. Now these fish here, they're absolute destructors. They suck and suck and suck at the bank. And just walking up through here, I can just see them just slowly making their way up the bank, up the bank, up the bank. And it looks like they're heading all the way up to the top into deeper waters. Now the trick in catching carp, all right, there is a little bit of a trick involved. You know, it's not as easy as throw a spear from the side of the bank, you're not going to get them that way. The trick in catching carp is it's all about camouflaging and becoming one with the environment. You've got to blend in. Now the best way to do this is to become like a log. And I'll show you exactly how I'm going to blend in with the environment. All you do is there's nice soft mud on the riverbank and it's the best form of camouflage. Just smear it all the way along, covering your body. Now this is also a very good form of mosquito repellent because the mosquitoes can't stand the mud. So whilst I'm sitting, wait, sitting, wait, just watching and watching, I know the mosquitoes aren't going to get me. So just apply it all over my body, all over. This will help cool, cool me down in the hottest part of the day as well. Well, trying my hardest not to look like a stooge and having plenty of time on my hands, I managed to position myself near a log in an attempt to spear any unexpected fish travelling upstream. Chuchi, it's all about patience and perseverance. funny thing is you've always just got to blend in with a log so you stay really really smooth go with the flow just go with the flow just sit and wait don't worry about time you've got all the time in the world you just got to chill out and just relax there you go that's food for tonight now these guys here these guys are one of the biggest problems that we have in our waterways now these guys here they're the mud suckers these guys are here with just feet up on the bank just shroom, 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 scoop up in the bank and they're looking for worms also what these guys will do, is if you'll notice, they'll go along the top of the water just feeding on insects. Gulp, 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 just exactly what he's doing right there. But I saw him coming down, he was coming down along the surface of the water. He's going down to the left. I was just waiting, waiting, waiting. And the funny thing about these guys is they follow the current. As soon as they come up to the top, shoom, that's how you get them. That's exactly how you get them. 